The key panel is mixer. Go to the mixer panel. You can resize it and make it very big. Also go down to the bottom and click sample color. Then go to effects and esoterica and growth. In the mixer panel I need because you can't sample the colors from the image. Make certain hard edges turned off and use fractal and you can modify the flatness settings. But you can also select the color from the mixer panel. And then you can add it by just dragging and releasing on the image. And it creates that design. The design that's in the preview will be added to the image. And you can add some blues. Obviously try and keep the blues to the area obviously of the clouds and the sky. And then go and select maybe white and add some clouds. And also of course you can go for ambers and yellows and oranges for the trees. Maybe some greys for obviously for the road and so on. Just build up all kinds of different designs on that image. You could of course use brushes as well. That's another obvious option as well. But I quite like the growth. I think it gives that lovely fractal design, which I'm going to be using in a sec with the angle displacement. So effects, focus, and go to glass distortion. By default, it goes to paper, but I want image luminance. Great watercolor effect straight away with refraction. But go down to angle displacement. And you create swirly designs. That's just a beautiful watercolor effect straight away as well. But you can modify in numerous ways, just change the amount as well as the variance. I want to get rid of the growth effect. I want obviously the growth effect to be in there, but at the same time, I don't want it to be really obvious that it's the growth effect. So you want the setting, the softness, and the amount of variance to be exactly in the way that you want to create the design, something like that. But you can apply it multiple times. You can also go to Esoterica and again growth. Again, select the colour from the mixer panel and add some additional whites, greens to the various trees and also maybe the, see the road there, some greys, some yellows for the trees and again click OK. And of course you can blend, apply glass distortion again and you can repeat this multiple times. Do it four, five, ten times. Just keep adding multiple layers. Maybe even create them on the layers as well. That's another option. You don't have to create them all on the same layer. And you can see the result there. Some subtle changes, change of variance, amount, and then click OK. And again, apply it again. Just add some more growth, add some more glass distortions to create your design. And click OK.